So I'm continuing, it's not quite dark yet. I wanted just to take a short video to show the startup routine. So the battery is charged and the pa it's powered up. You can see the red lights are on, they're not flashing, which means it's connected to the laptop. So I have the laptop here with the SciTech software. Uh, it's parked, so the first thing I'll do is to unpark it. Um, and it's tracking. Uh, but now I want I want to go to an initial star just to improve the accuracy a little bit. So I go to um, sync on a star and pick a fairly bright star because it's not that dark yet. But um, I've been using in the winter here in, in Texas, Capella, and then go go to that star so so you said it's slowing and well it already went there okay um, I'm not going to show this but I have a high, high power eyepiece it's actually um, Celestron 12 millimeter guiding eyepiece and I'll center the star just tweak it a little bit and then once it's really good centered, um, I'll go back to sync and then do um, an uh, offset initial. Offset init. Um, and by the way, so when you use the park function, um, the model that I have is automatically loaded in from uh, when I parked it or the last time. So you can see that the RMS pointing is about six arc minute, maximum 13.86 arc minute. Um, and there's 46 cal stars. So I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit darker and then um, I'll go to other stars and then start observing different deep sky objects.